This video provides a brief summary of the 2017 article by Rajiv Jangiani and Sarita Jangiani investigating the perceptions, use, and impact of open textbooks, a survey of post-secondary students in British Columbia, which was published in International Review of Research in Open and Distributed Learning. The article describes the results of a survey of 320 post-secondary students at 12 universities or colleges in British Columbia, Canada. Each of these students was enrolled in a course in which an open textbook had been assigned. Open textbooks are a type of open educational resource. They are textbooks that carry an open license, which means that anyone may freely reuse, revise, remix, redistribute, or retain these resources. They are available to students free of cost in a variety of digital formats and at low cost in print format. Ever since the launch of the BC Open Textbook Project in 2012, open textbook adoptions have steadily been growing in British Columbia. As of 2017, 322 BC faculty have adopted open textbooks in over 1,300 courses, with an estimated savings to students of over $4.5 million. 64% of the sample identified as female, 52% reported that English was their second or subsequent language, and 35% identified as a visible minority. The median respondent was a first-year undergraduate student enrolled in three courses. The sample represented a broad range of disciplines. Only 31% of respondents were not currently employed, with 44% working more than 15 hours per week. About a quarter of participants reported holding a student loan. Respondents reported having spent up to $3,000 on textbooks over the previous 12 months. Over half of the respondents, however, reported not purchasing at least one of their required course textbooks. These individuals were more likely to hold a student loan or be working more hours per week. 30% of respondents reported downloading textbooks from the internet, 26% sharing textbooks with classmates, and 10% using reserve copies from the university library. Just over half of the respondents reported selling their used textbooks at the end of the semester. Only 18% reported not being influenced at all by the cost of textbooks. 27% of respondents indicated that they had taken fewer courses, 26% had not registered for a course, and 17% reported dropping or withdrawing from a course, all because of the cost of textbooks. 30% reported earning a poor grade in the course because of textbook costs. These individuals were all more likely to identify as a member of a visible minority group, hold a student loan, or be working more hours per week. 63% of respondents judged the overall quality of their open textbook to be above average or excellent, with an additional 33% rating it as average. Only 3.5% of the sample rated their open textbook below average in quality. When asked to rate how important different features of their open textbook were to them, 70% of respondents rated immediate access as either very important or absolutely essential. This was followed closely by cost savings, and the convenience and portability of the digital format, the ability to print pages, to keep it forever, and to share it with others. These ratings were supported by respondents' open-ended comments. A majority of respondents, 56%, disagreed slightly or strongly with the statement, I would have preferred to purchase a traditional textbook for this course. This survey is the first to investigate the impact of textbook costs on Canadian students' educational choices, as well as the first to investigate the use and perceptions of Canadian students who have been assigned open textbooks. The high cost of textbooks has a measurable and negative impact on the educational choices and outcomes of post-secondary students in British Columbia. Students assigned open textbooks perceive these resources to be of generally high quality and value the cost savings, immediate access, portability, and other benefits they 